Guys, we need to have a family meeting. Okay. This is a serious question. What's going on, bro? Should we continue with celebrity interviews? I love Starved Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, come with your own opener. Hey, son. Wow. I came ready. Shout out Stripe Horse, man. Say full on like 500 k. Say full. I'm assuming other dope colors. There's like pink and <gasps> green. Wow. There's amazing colors. You'll see all the colors. Ngam. So are you? Who are you? Color ngam. <laughs> so then it's it's three steps. It's boom, boom, boom. Hey. It's boom, boom. It's one, two, three. Uh, they just want a song, let's run. Yeah. Immediately you come with contracts, it's like, hey, 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 So my wife tells me you were being dragged there on Twitter. What did you do, dog? Hey, it sounds nice, my wife. <laughs> so my wife, you know, Emeka's never said that, right? He thought he'd sneak it in. And then Nyaga <laughs> sees it. That sounds nice, man. <laughs> Say it again. I'm waiting for you to join me. Who told you? Who told you? Eh? <laughs> my wife. <laughs> but I mean, you know what, man? It's unfair, man, when you say you're waiting for me because... You spent like 20 years, 10 years with your wife. <laughs> Till you next cut and get a relationship. Man, just so fucking pressure. Mm. But it's a beautiful thing. Uh, your wife said I, I was getting dragged. <laughs> yeah. On Twitter. On Twitter. What, what happened? What? You know, can I be honest? Yeah. I posted a picture, right? And I saw some jokes here. I didn't know it was actually a thing. Up until like two days later, which was yesterday, and someone was like, oh, damn, so being getting dragged. I didn't notice I was getting dragged, yeah. but apparently I was. I posted a, a, a I was, was shooting the music video for Lonely Nights, yeah. right, which is dropping soon. And I was wearing a, a Steph Curry uh, uh, shirt, Golden State Warriors, uh, and it looked like a full kit because I was wearing blue uh, shorts mm. that match as well. And then I was wearing... You know, socks and stuff. So, obviously, I look like I'm ready for a, a game of basketball. And I posted a picture saying, whoever wants to challenge me now, let's hit the court. I'll take anyone on now. Mm. So then, obviously, people are like, oh, you mean the food court? <laughs> <laughs> Drop it. Oh, it was really funny. And there's people also, I like, like steak curry. <laughs> so, <laughs> steak curry. <laughs> It's the funniest thing. There's all sorts of disses. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it, man. You took I mean, it like a champ, right? Eh? No, it was, it was no, I don't think it was supposed to hurt me, but it was yeah. just funny. And, but, and wait, it made me video, laugh. On the video, you already said you've got the curry in front and the curry at the back, yeah, right? Yeah, I said I've got a stomach full of curry. <laughs> yeah. A bag full of curry because it's written curry here. Yeah, <laughs> so right? they were riding on your wave. Yeah, and I, was, you start I, I talked about it. Yeah. So like, like, it was really, I don't think it was meant to like hurt me or harm me. Or, yeah. But it was funny. Like, come on, it's funny, man. You know? Ah, but hands off. It's uh, Twitter. Hands off Bobby Cooper, guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, no ah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's no. gone beyond banter. You know, they used to banter in the beginning, but now it's like bullying, bro. Like, Wait, what's going on? If you check, every time she posts something, like, you must read the comments below. Mm. Like, it's bad, bro. Like, it's terrible. So yes. It's terrible. What did she post? What, what are they saying? What did she post and what um, do they say in the comments? Okay, let's go. What did she post and what do they say in the comments? Uh, give me your phone. You got Twitter, ne? I've got Twitter, yeah, bro. Yeah, give me your phone. You'll check, dog. It's no bad, problem, bro. bro. It's like bullying it's now. No Yo, yeah, it's bad. Have you seen it? It's bad, ne? Every time she posts, bro. Are you serious? And in the beginning, she used to be like you, where she'd respond, and it was banter. Oh, but sure. now it's yeah. like, it's like, it's bad, bro. Okay, Damn, cool. bro. Okay, let's go. It's Bobby Cooper. So this is... Why were you Googling Ghost Luby and Seema? I saw something was happening there. Because I saw... And I was like, oh, damn, this is what they're talking about is from the kids' podcast. Are they Why back are you together? Google, bro? No, 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 it's on Twitter. Your last Twitter, Google. Yeah, you can Google on Twitter. Your last Twitter search. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why are you on my Twitter search? Oh, you're searching for Gamu. Okay. Yeah. Hey, no, not you're on my Twitter searches. Bobby no. Cooper. Oh, Bobby Cooper. Bobby. Oh, okay, cool. Huh? <laughs> P.O.P. P.O.P. Uh, Canopy. Mm. Gunopi. Yeah, okay. Where? 
Okay, cool. I don't hear you. So here, here, here's a, a video of her. She's just she's with some guy, bro. They're a complex, they're dancing, having fun. Listen to the comments. It's giving down room syndrome. Uh, down room. Syn- down, that's the basic. Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Oh, down syndrome. Oh. No, that's not nice. Hey, dude. Probably wild, must do man. like Oscar Bowman man, and, and ask to see in the likes. No, but that this is bullying, bro. Celebrities who've left Twitter. Oh, just switch off the comments. I, can't people do that? Or just leave Twitter and just post work. Nice to see they did that to him, he left. Oscar Mbo, they did that to him, he left. Tinite ring, yeah, boy. Fucking bring it out, motherfuckers. We've got the fucking skin, you know, and the heart. Bring it on. But yeah. <laughs> okay, wasn't God, like, not so, uh, Sorry, you know? man, it's too much work for me to search all but, the okay, yeah. but, but basically, it's, 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 it's bad, bro. She was but, rumored to also be a, like a mean girl. Like she's got mean girl vibes. I, I think if I'm just... But anyway. What do you mean? No one deserves to be bullied at the end of the day, you know? Like, yeah. But what are the rumors that she's a mean person? Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Like, I think when I first, with that whole, you know, why people would always be, she was like, she was also attacking whatever. You know, it was just like a... yeah. It's just a, a, like a, a, an exchange. Like that's why people just back and having those back and forth with other, you know, whoever who she was Oscar fighting. Oscar Mbo's not a mean person. No, so no, see no. that can't even be an excuse. But Oscar Mbo's not a mean person. Mm, mm, mm. He was getting dragged every day. No, that's he left different. Twitter. Yeah. Nice to see. I don't know him personally. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He punches fans here and there, but I don't know if he's a mean person or not. Ha. But he left Twitter. Whoa. All right, now speak on facts. <laughs> Fact checker, you want to check that? <laughs> I speak on facts. Okay. So that's not an excuse. We know Twitter is a cesspool of online bullies, and it is what it is. True. You know, it still disgusts us, but it's not surprising. Speaking about rappers, you got a daughter, eh? Yes. She's a rapper. No, which SA rapper <laughs> would you let? Let's speak of his radio. Speaking of daughters. <laughs> Is it spin off? We did that. You snuck that in nice. Speaking of Speaking rappers. Of rappers, you oh. have a daughter. Who's the rapper now? Who's no, called? listen to the question. How are you going to know the question if you're not listening? I need to know how we get into the question. <laughs> <laughs> my man. Okay, boy. Speaking of rappers. Speaking daughter, of rappers, you yeah. got a daughter. Yes. Which SA rapper would you let date your daughter? Oh, wow. Mm. Let's say my daughter was of age to date. Mm. Which SA rapper would I let date my daughter? I'll tell you. Um, nope. <laughs> he's got, this, he's got all, he's got all the money. He's got all, he's got all the money, but he's uh, very. I don't think his emotional intelligence Who's that? Is, is up to par. Casper, mm. he okay. definitely wouldn't. Okay. Nah, he's got all the money and all, yeah, but yeah. nah. Um. You go, Slade. You also got a daughter. Man, is smart, but he doesn't have all the money, so nah. Hey, <laughs> back <laughs> No, 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 no. But it's, he doesn't. He doesn't have it like Casper. Yeah. I mean, he's got it. Like you know what I mean. Above any average South African. But let's be honest. Doesn't. He's not living in a mansion like Casper and stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, Questa. Questa. Questa, actually, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, look at how he disappeared so beautifully into the sunset mm. with his lady. Mm. And then comes once in a while to do his 16 bar or mshupel or whatever thing he does. You know, that two gigs a year or whatever, you know, that make him a couple of millions at Carnival City and wherever. Mm. His music, he's still eating from his music. Mm. He's extremely smart. Stays he's in humble. Copper Leaf. Agarasi stays in Copper Leaf. Mm. I didn't know that, but yeah, <laughs> you know, he, he's married, you know, at the height of his career, at the yeah. height of his career, he decided to marry his lady. They've got a kid, doesn't have kids that we know of out of wedlock, not mm. that it's a bad thing, but he hasn't gone around making kids post his marriage. He he he's, he's doesn't have a lot of scandals, you know what I mean? And you make from, a good case. And it's from, of Ngutus. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it's from the East Rand. So yeah, Questa, definitely. Yeah. That, that's a good case. I like that one. Yeah. You ghost lady? Um, I'd say Nasty C. Because mm. I'd like my daughter to, you know, get into a relationship from a young age. Not like teens though. You know, from a young age, you know, settle, have that one person that they're gonna just she's gonna be with, you know, and no, I, I not like, Aries. I but I don't know. Who, who is Aries with? Mm. You don't know Aries. Eh? No, you're not Aries. You, you're kidding, right? No, no, I'm saying it. The guy committed to failure. 
What do you mean he's so soaring? Ah, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there, goes, there goes the Aries into you. You see? There goes. <laughs> but, okay, let's But that's his honest opinion, man. And it's. No, I just think he's coming. No, he, to... He's committed to failure, he's dog. When it's time to, to grow, it's like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's committed to. <laughs> I don't want to grow, I'm good. <laughs> I'm comfortable. I, I like it where I'm. You know, he's yeah. content. Yeah, he's no, content. No, let's call it content. Yeah, boy, let's go, America. <laughs> <laughs> See what happened to him when he went to America. <laughs> huh? 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 Let's 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 remain. Let's, let's remain here. See when moon. Okay, okay, okay. Nasty yeah, C. Nasty C. I gotta agree with you, man. For me, it's Nasty C, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, man. He's been with the same girl yes. since high school. Uh, you know, when when people are young and they get in the industry, you are you are scared because they might get into drugs, mm. go off the wrong path, and do weird shit. Like nasty since he's been in the game, has never done any weird exactly. shit that I've heard of. Yeah. He's been with the same woman. Yeah, roadkill here and there, no problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's that's a nigga. Life, bro. And he's 25, bro, but he feels like he's been in the game for ages. Yeah, that's so true. He's been really blessed. That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and now, uh, what do you mean, ladies and gentlemen? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which daughter? Which, your daughter? Nasty C. He said Nasty C. Yeah, oh, Nasty C. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you just sit at home think of these things. Uh, ah. You look at your daughter and you're like, <laughs> He's watching a nice DC video. He's like, you better break up with that girl. There's your husband, Nana. There's your husband. That nigga better break up. It's funny you say that on the way to the show, ne? So I stopped by the garage here at the BP. You see here by my show, like here at the BP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking of the show. I'm thinking of the show. Like, okay, cool. Okay, I want to talk about this. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to do this. Yeah. Thing. Bro, so you know when I think about the show, I get in a trance. Like, my body's here, but my mind is... Like elsewhere. Mm-hmm. So I get in the garage, I grab some ice, grab some juice, dash for, yeah. for, 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 for the grand jury. Nice. I left without paying, bro. Just got in the car. That happens. And as I get in the car, the petrol attendants were running towards the car. So I'm thinking they want pictures. Get it. Sure, 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 sure. Next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just rolled up. And, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. and you know pictures. We dug them very fast. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stopped by the uh, robots. Hey, bro, there's like five federal attendants. They knock at my door. They're like, you didn't pay. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, As keys. Hey, <laughs> How much was the bill? No, man, it was like ice and juice, like 40, 50 reds. Oh. Yeah, but they were chillers. They're like, hey, make cheese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But now you're good for it. Yes. Oh. But I for- completely forgot. Yeah. I was in my it zone, bro. Happen. It does happen. It's oh. weird, man. Anyway. And now, what man? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are back. Soap and Dukas here, Tibblers here, Smooth Ass Tashir. Okay. 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 Bro, did you did you did you trademark us, Tashin? Uh, no, I've done it already. You've, You've done, done it? it? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm kidding. <laughs> it's in safe hands, don't worry. Ask the shit. You're sleeping on mine, is you? Ask the shit. You're gonna hear it in an advert soon, and Nando's advert. Oh, hey, ask the shit. Yeah, just, it's 2.5, man. Let's do it. It's uh, Dudu's here, uh, Tato's here. Who's this guy, bro? Hey, man, you must let us know. You must fill in the form, man. That's you can't the, just be having nah, new people coming. That's the new Tibler. Remember Tibler? That's how we also. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how he joined yeah. Manigan. Oh. And I realized this because all these guys, uh, Black Studios, I've saved them still as like, what, what? Uh, Manigan, uh, yeah. Tato podcast thing. Tibla's own one is just Tibla because he was just a guy in the studio. Just, <laughs> you know, wearing, what's your petty outfit? That like, <laughs> that formal stuff. You used to wear blazers. Remember when you arrived, he was wearing blazers, leather, Seriously? brown blazers. Yeah, hey, he was dressed like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then TG is part. So I asked, now I'm like, all oh, these guys, man. Because it was full He had of a petty outfit. Then, <laughs> Just then, move your mic down a bit. Yeah, you were not as cool. Like, oh, damn, you're not. He just said he's not pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, cool. But you look pretty, so that's ah, what matters. So, so I asked now, I'm like, who are these guys? He's like, no, no, it's one of us. I'm like, oh, it's the new Tibla. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ghost ladies, yeah, yeah, looking good. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Make it up at all. Are you oh, going somewhere? Are you, guys, you guys always get surprised when I put on makeup. Because you're oh. so used to me when I just don't, ne? No, like, I'm going to think... make an effort. You guys get surprised. Like... We've got a guest later. Maybe it's got something to do with the guest. Oh, yeah. Tugsin oh, is joining yes. us. The king yes. of three-step, yeah? yeah? Oh, you got a thing for Tugsin? Oh, no. Oh, okay. But I, I love three-step, you know? But, yeah. You know, yeah. you know? Do you know what three-step is? Goom, goom, goom. 
Now is here, Fat Check is here, Simpio is here, yeah, man. Here. What a great time to be a South African. Big shout out to the Springboks for real this time. Yeah. <laughs> man, I thought we were really going to just put up like one response. So the whole thing aim was to put up both. <laughs> I don't no. know. Neo is the one who does the final uh, editing. Yeah. Because we were supposed to put up yeah. one. Yeah, we look like Neo. idiots now, one, bro. I know. It was funny. Funny, actually. You see, no, but we look like idiots, dog. But I think it was funny. <laughs> no, but wait. It's this thing of them editing in silence. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the <laughs> problem. <laughs> it's like, like editing Both in... reactions are there. Yeah, like, like yo, guys. Like, which I was joking. I didn't mean, like, to leave it. No. But how beautiful. Did you see any of the parades? The shandies that the Springboks did? I didn't I didn't did attend or yeah, yeah, just yeah. online. Yeah. No, nah, I didn't attend. Uh I passed by Bram. Mm. We were doing a music video shoot, so we drove through Bram and I saw the people them waiting for obviously oh. the parade bus to pass, but um there was no one here. Anyone I, here I go see. to the parade? New Tibler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new Tibler. <laughs> so you can speak, dog. Fuck, fuck what these guys told you. You can speak. Did you see the springbok? <laughs> oh, oh, no. I like cool. Guys, we need to have a family meeting. Okay. This is a serious question. What's going on, bro? Should we continue with celebrity interviews? Mm. Oh, great question. We should, right? I think we should, maybe not every week. Uh, but we should. I mean, there's still amazing people, you know, yeah. who are doing crazy things out there. For example, we're having a any of the spring box. Mm. You know, we've tried reaching out, obviously. I was speaking to Magazole Mapimpi the other day. He's a chiller and he wants to come through at some point. So no. if we say no, then we can't have those kind of guys. So I think we should have, but when we have it, we'll make it really special. If not that, they just stick as friends at our shows. What do you think, Osled? Um, I I also agree with Sol. Like, yeah, we stick to a friend of the shows. That's fine. Because I think we're running out of celebs or just like Critical people to interview, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's running out of celebs, man. I so, mean, I mean, like, we, I mean, we had Zintle episode two, two, what, fifty something. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why we can't have her again. Now, and so much has happened. In so her much life. has happened. Oh, she's yeah. married. She's got a child. She's yeah, a widow. Yeah, you know what a I mean? lot has happened. So we can have her again. Widow, how so? <laughs> uh, uh. Not a widow, technically yeah, she's not married, not exactly. but you know what I mean. Like, no, what's man. What's happening? What's happening? There? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, they're just laughing at when you said a widow. Like, you just took it too far. Oh, no, not a widow, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Come on. You know what I mean. Like, you know what I mean. A lot yeah, I get you. Come on. Because I, I look at the numbers, bro. And Come obviously, on. you can't ask me, ne? Because... In any situation, if you sit with someone and look in the eye and talk to them for an hour and a half, you're going to like them. So every episode that we've done with a guest, I've liked. Yeah. So I'm not the best person to ask, right? Mm -hmm. But when I look at the numbers, the numbers say otherwise. Yeah. What makes you say this now? Is it the Cocos Koteni interview or it's a, it's, it's a pattern? It's a pattern noticed. that I've noticed. Like this, Google will say, hey, listen, let's have Ringo. I'm like, hey, I'm not Google. sure. Oh. Did I say Gugu? Yeah. Sorry, uh, Dudu. Oh. Yeah, she'll say, let's have Ringo, right? Mm. I'll be like, hmm, Ringo's a legend, mm. but I don't think it'll land with the chillers, you know? Mm. And then we do it with Ringo, and I'm like, fuck, what an amazing episode. Like, what a great guy, you know? Yeah. We put it up, the numbers say, otherwise, mm. right? And then we do an interview with like, a, what's her name, man? She's trending now. One with the big ass. Uh... Londi London. Londi London. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. London, London, for me, like, that episode was trash, dog. Like, I didn't learn anything. We didn't speak about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But numbers are crazy, right? Are they? Yeah, bro. She's, like, doing crazy numbers, man. Yeah, because people then complain. I don't get it. If London, London is doing crazy numbers, people then hit me up on Twitter, like, complaining, ah, these trending people are whack, whatever, 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 whatever. But then the numbers are, well, are doing great. No, the truth of the matter is people like interviews with people they know. Like... People that are trending right now. Yeah, trending, yeah. So, so for example, this Thursday, we've got an interview with Angus Gibson. Oh, okay. The guy who did, uh, he produced Shaka Ilembe. Angus Gibson, he's a, he's he's a, he's a, a, a lot. He's like, beautiful. 
So Beautiful so interview, like fucking Incredible. gems, knowledge, knowledge stories, oh, for stories for days. Oh. But I promise you, the numbers will be trash. Yep, because no one knows him. Yeah, a super taller, for example, the numbers aren't as high as oh. a, a London, London, right? And yeah. that interview has so much a wealth of knowledge. Exactly, and just you learn. You know, it's one of those interviews where you learn. Then, guys, why are you getting caught up in the numbers then? Because like, you do it for ooh, the chillers. The numbers wow, question. No, the numbers tell. Yeah, but okay, aren't we satisfied? Even if let's say two hundred um, k people watched, isn't that s- satisfactory? Because also we're documenting. P- uh, Why do we have to be make hit a target of a million? You know, it doesn't have to be that. It, no, you can't hit a million with every episode. Obviously, uh, yeah, definitely, you can't. But also, the numbers speak volumes. It means people are not interested in that. Out of a million people, if two hundred thousand are watching, it means we. They ain't fucking with it, which is what we've seen with the political guys. Episodes, that yeah, yeah. yeah. They never land. We can't completely disregard the numbers, you know, like because there are a gauge of whether yes. there's interest or not. But also, we can't be dictated to by the numbers because, for example, if God forbid, right? Let me no names mentioned, but one of the people we've had on the show who's got okay numbers, but has an amazing story. If they pass away tomorrow. There will be an interview where we told the story. Yeah, but we can't do interviews in case they pass away. Ah! <laughs> I guess we've got that Let's... question. What do you want to be remembered? <laughs> remember this. <laughs> this one is for in case. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> well, they've been asking for Leon Schuster. So, you know. uh, All right, they've been asking for Leon Schuster. So, do you think he's gonna get good numbers on? Yes, that? I, I can. T- I know Chillers, bro. If you tell me a name, give me names now. I'll tell you if you land or not with the Chillers. Give me names. Shave sheet. And land. Need to get, Definitely land. Need to get shave sheet. Guys. Land, land, you land, try. land, land, land. Check him on your shit. <laughs> Check him on your shit. Shave I can sheet. tell, bro. Leon. Schuster, Schuster. Uh, Popcorn and Cheese is already doing him. Oh, hey. wow. Mm. Already? Yeah, they've got him on lock. Jesus Christ. Then there's that. Then every other podcast is doing interviews now. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So should we stop because of that? So what I think, ne? and and, and, and Fat Checker, you chat and the rest of the team as well because it's a family meeting again. Mm. What I think is we should have a special. So like if we know that, okay, this is going to do well, like a Gogos Koteni, we do that or a Casper or whatever. We do it. Mm. But we shouldn't just do celebrity episodes like as a filler for the sake of doing them. Mm. I think like if we know, okay, this might not land, we'd rather have them as a friend of the show. Friend of the show. And then on Thursdays, I think we should go live with our chillers. Okay, okay then. Wouldn't they feel some kind of way though if a celebrity is here knowing that, ah, okay, yeah, I'm here for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> they doubt me. Yeah, they doubt me. Imagine, imagine, yeah. imagine we have got Casper there. We've got Casper in the middle, you know. <laughs> now he knows deep down. He's like, nah, yeah. Casper would never be, 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 be special. Fetchek, I want to get your thoughts on this. What do you think, Fetchek? <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. You can make like once a week, like one week of a month. One day of a month where you just dedicate it to one specific artist. The reason why I'm saying this is because there's a lot of podcasts that are coming up and they're all focused on having celebrities in, right? And just this week, Gox Koteni was on your For You pages on YouTube a thousand times because she was in um, Nguleleko culture before coming to Podcast Central. And some of these people, they repeat the same thing. Like they say Mm. the same thing over and over again. Mm. So it's not worth watching. And also I do agree with the fact that there are those specific people who are just boring. You just don't want to hear them. Londi London is making numbers because of her drama. If she did not have the drama, she was also going to be a typical person. Mm. Just watching. You get me. Mm. So, yeah. I don't think it should be specific like why once a month, we're going to do a celebrity guest. But I think if someone worth of interest that we think the chillers would fuck with, we do it. Then it becomes a special. It becomes a special. Dope. That's 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 where I'm headed. Mm. That's what I'm thinking next year we start doing, bro. Okay. okay that's a good idea. Okay. Mm? So we still continue, but like friend of the shows, you know. What do you mean? No. Like we still have your your prominent celebrities. Black Tugs yeah, like we have to. Yeah, yes. like we have so today. we still do friend of the show. Yes. Yes. But yeah, but to say this is a Thursday one-on-one interview. Yes. Okay. So what we can we'll do? do I, like, I really want to go live on Thursdays, man, with the chillers, man. I think that's the next level. Bro. Oh, okay. So, so we could go live for an hour, and then the last thirty minutes we have a friend of the show. 
Can't but you be. know, going live, it's going to be like branches where it, it just doesn't land. Going no. live? No. We still do the normal show, bro. Oh, just, oh, 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 well, it's not like... So it's not like we're no, it's not a Q&A, no, no. no. Oh, not a Q&A, okay, no, 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 cool. No, no, no. We still do the normal show, but like now... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh, like they, well, the they, comments will read out oh, in real time. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, nice. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, you thought like live as in like uh, an event? Insta live or no. whatever, with a Q&A in it. No, no. no. With an interaction Well, element. there will be interaction, but it's but not like not a Q&A. Okay, that's fine. Q&A is... Like Lord. we're just doing it, the normal Monday shows and whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, I want to ask you guys something, man. When a guy says he's going to leave his wife, does he ever leave his wife? No. Hmm. Why is that? Hey, no. They do sometimes, but generally they don't. They, they do? Just, I think they're saying what they, they, they think the girl wants to hear. Who, who do you know that has done that? Who's done what? Left their wife. Because I don't know anyone, but we always hear of, of side chicks who've been there for 10 years and the guy's been promising to leave his wife. Mm. Do, do niggas ever so, do? Wait, so you're saying that they do? No, generally they don't. Oh. Some are stupid enough to leave their wives. Mm. Yeah, but generally many don't. Uh, that's, lady? That's, the, just the, that's the oldest lie. I'm going to leave my wife. Mm. That's the so, oldest lie. Okay, so the question is, why don't they leave the wife? Because... Firstly, they have so much invested in their exactly. marriage relationship. They've bought a house. Sometimes things are in community of property. It's a headache to leave their wife. And also they just don't... Some know that before their wife, there was no stability in their life. Now the wife has brought the stability. She may now not... You know what I mean? And there's a little excitement outside, but they're smart enough to know not to leave the stability for the little excitement. Because if you were to marry that excitement, it... Marriage is not about excitement. I think we know that, you know? Generally. <laughs> marriage is not about it. It's about stability. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, man. <laughs> marriage, uh, let's be honest, bro, Mac. You have resigned into a life of stability, yeah. which a man and humans need generally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A structure, a home, stability. And it's more of that than excitement. Mm. The kind of excitement that there's guys... a guy. There's a guy who tweeted something during the week, man. He nailed it down so perfectly, man. Uh, let me try find it. Ghost Lady, what do you think? Um, Like I said, it's the oldest lie. And like, I'll, I'll take it as a married woman. You know, like, let's say, let's say um, my husband were to be involved in another relationship and then was saying, I'm going to leave my wife. Now, literally, I'm running a lot of stuff that I make. I, I've literally built a lot of structure in our household, which would be very hard for him to go just... Like, so it's literally because of understand the thing of the structure that the wife has created, even with the kids, you know. So it's like just uprooting kids and saying, OK, it's over. it's like there's a lot that goes into it. It's it's an easy lie just to what bang and have sex. You are too entangled. Yes. To untangle. Yes. And as you grow older, like I, I think it's, it's it was one of those things as when you're still younger, it's easy to go, OK, I'll just up and leave. Even now, I think. The more years you spend with someone, there's just too much. It's no longer just, ah, oh, okay, I'll just up and leave. No, there's a lot of things that you, like, this. Sorry. What's playing there? Hey, son. Kande, you calling someone? Yeah, what's popping, son? Yeah, please send me that tweet about the guy and the fridge. <laughs> uh, okay, let me, let me send you the screenshot, ne? Yeah, yeah, send me the screenshot on my WhatsApp. I want to read it out, man. That guy breaks it down beautifully. Uh, Right, son, let me send it to you. Sorry to cut you, Ghost That's Lady. That's yeah. yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. that. I couldn't find it, man. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, but continue. You were saying. Did he not send it to all of us? Maybe. Did he send it to the group, ne? Maybe. Hey, that, did that, you that, see that. You saw, did you guys see it? The no, one about we, the fridge. When you talk about a fridge now, now I I, I think you I saw that. Put it up. Yeah. Hey, I want to. Yeah, wanna check it. Yeah, look for it. But uh, yeah, I think it, it, it is like the, lo the longer time you spend with a person, it became it becomes harder to just up and leave them. Because of a lot of structure that they put in your lives. And if the more kids you have, just whatever. Whether it's businesses, the there's a lot of management. It could be home. Ah, here we go. Listen to this, man. Shout out to the chief on Twitter. So, Beriru asked, why can't men marry the ladies they party, smoke and drink with? Ooh. This is the response, yeah? The response is... <laughs> oh, imagine. Imagine shutting to Yamaha. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Ice to pee. Yo. Yo. I like this explanation. Listen to what he says. Wait, what's wrong with that? Okay, oh, continue. Imagine. Uh, he goes, this is the chief, ne? CH13F007 on Twitter. Same reason why a cooler box cannot do a refrigerator's job. One is for the road. You can even borrow it to friends and relatives. <laughs> you can use it as a chair, table, or anything you wish. Mm. Can be stolen easily too. However, the other one is respected. No strangers can just open it. Mm. No one could come and borrow it. Mm. And it's strictly for home use. Mm. And it got to kiss. Drop the shit. Real niggas know you can live without a freak. That's my mid rare niggas. Put up box for days, even in the house. <laughs> <laughs> does, he, does he not nail it? He does. He's he right. It. That's it's rolls, though. Nah, it's rolls. It's, it's rolls. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, the wife is the elite. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you need that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you can't get too excited now and leave. And, and guys know when they say I'm going to leave her. <laughs> like, no. You know what I mean? The one gets excited, Nyana, but... And you know at uh, Groove, every time you say Kula Box, ah, no, yeah, I'm like Kula Box. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because, <laughs> like, what, what number Kula Box are you on right now? <laughs> Just think about it, son, hey? How many cooler boxes have you bought? <laughs> like in your life, like You're in, right, I'm sure man. you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes with pisana, oh, yeah. like, ah, I enjoy it. Monday, I'm not in it. It's the best. I know it. Yeah. Anyway, ghost lady, what you got for us, yeah. man? So, guys, I've got um uh, some stories from my favorite at Momo. People who follow the gossip pages would know. So, my pepandawa. Whoa! Yes, yes. Okay. So you're supposed to buy my paper and dabba now. Yes. Well, they send you stories. Must ask me who is it, please. Yeah. Just, just. Oh, Shazad. Shazad. Yeah, 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 yeah. In all the years that you've done the segment, no one has sponsored you. You've got a sponsor now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging now. I'm digging for gold. <laughs> I, so all these stories are from my pep and dab. Yeah, well, I'm the Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This better be good, man. Oh. Let's go. What you got oh. for us? So guys, now one, Tuli Pongolo, right? So all her stuff is actually so she, it's it's been a, like a whole big lie that um she owns her stuff. So allegedly. It all belongs to Mapuri. So it's the cars, the house. So even the house that she stays at where even a family or some family members um, are staying with her, it actually all belongs to Mapuris. So, so that's it doesn't story. belong to the both of them? I mean, they're both making money. Yeah, well, you know, obviously, well, so maybe you could help with some other things, but the person, when you talk about ownership, eh. whose name is on the papers eh. in Mapuris, even the cars, wow. you know, so all those luxury, you know. But what's wrong with that? They're dating, though. They wow. are dating, yeah. So I'm just saying, you know, like, it's a, it's a whole, like, a story that you would see. I just hope she's also like investing in her own property yes, and her own cars I with hope her so money. Too. In case oh, she's investing happens. in a property, she got a BBL chief. She's investing. Oh, <laughs> not that kind of property. Ah, oh, okay. No, no, no. no assets. No. <laughs> she got assets. She got assets. That she sits on, right? Eh? Hey, but I didn't know she's that thick, man. Yeah, no, I thought she was like slender. She was, was there in ocean. No, she was there in ocean. You know, I had a thick thing. No, the thing is, no. The entire she time, off, I was there with my woman. Come on now. She's that. There's those type of girls that give off like a very skinny, like very slender girl. Yeah, I didn't like, know. Like from face-wise, oh. if you check her, but you know, until you see the full picture. Hey, who's Ah, Timmy, Timmy. No, wait. Hey. Timmy's gorgeous. Man. She's hot. But she's gorgeous. She's hot. Yeah. yeah. No, she's gorgeous. Look, nothing wrong I'm with that. I'm enjoying her dancing during her sets. You know, she's like, oh, yeah. I'm who's hotter, Tuli or Michele? Tuli. Ooh. From what I saw, Tuli, Tuli. And also, I think Michele, the shenanigans and stuff, scandals, they they drop her hotness Value, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to me, they, no, they she drop She should have just kept her mouth shut, To man. me, like, yeah, yeah. The they moment drop... she started talking, it's like, well, it, man. Yeah, to me, they, to me, they've dropped to me. Were you, you know there? I mean? Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> Was that now the... the... Uh, okay, no lean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, you know, to me at least, you know, so Tuli, Tuli, uh, if given the, the, yeah, 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 Tuli, but like I said, there's nothing wrong with Pori doing all of that for her and stuff, as long as she knows that when things may Tuli, be... Tuli Mahu. Because I'm, I'm... <laughs> Tuli Mahu. Who's Tuli or Mahu? Yeah. I remain with Tuli. Oh, yeah, I guess. Mahu mine. sings beautifully. Oh, so. yeah, I guess. And from what have I, you seen Mahu, bro? Have you seen Tuli's BBL? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mahu. 
Ah, is natural. Ah, Mahu is gorgeous, man. So what? Mahu is natural. Yeah, yeah Mahu is natural as yeah. well. Yeah. I'm asking, man. I, I still too late. Have you seen Mahu live? Mahu live? Okay, see her live and then come back to me. Mm. Okay. Oh, and then wow. let's chat. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, cool. Clean. Okay, cool. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. As long as she's got her own things, in case one day she'll need her own well, things. Well, I'm for that because, you know, Satan, the Malian daughter, you know, we love living off, you know, like as women, we like to be taken care of and given stuff. So, so the first thing I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm So, you know, I should have your own things as well so that one day. <laughs> what else you got? What else you got? <laughs> Okay, um, Kamon Pela. Big up to Kamo first with the, the beautiful track with T.I. Yeah, I you like it, it, man. Oh, man. Bro, a lot of people have been trashing it, saying that uh, she was not needed. She spoiled the song. I love it, bro. Yeah. And even if it's trash, bro, the fact that she's got a song with T.I. Shout out to you. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah. I don't get too excited, so. No, we can have to keep now. I shout out Abu for the song with Pretty Panas, like it's trash. But when I was like, it's the fact that it's obviously with a big international artist oh, that matters. Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're hearing me now. Are you sure? You mean okay. the Devin Gogo song? Yeah, yeah when okay. I was like, it's still a big collaboration. Trash or not? Trash or not? For me, yeah. it's like moving piano forward. Bro, and I also, love, I love that song, man. The way he, he, you could tell, like it wasn't a verse that was like from the past or back then that he just. Ulti- Beat. Beat. Like, beat. And he became one with he the beat. He like, became one with the like, beat, dog. Yo, him and the beat are like dancing, you know? Bro, it's no oh, nigga, it's not a smash hit. I don't think it's I'll hear it in the cl- no. clubs, but it's dope for the culture. And the people are saying Kamon Pella was not needed. I get where they're coming from. Kamon Pella, when she gets on the song, she kills it, right? Mm. And I feel like her presence on the song could have been made more. And I feel like she should have opened the song because she almost closed the song yeah, towards far. the end, right? At the end, yeah. That's where and I'm you're most... expecting something to come back. Yes, like that. Come, that part should have been like in Goma Mekala. Yeah. Arrangement. Give it, Arrangement. Because the, the beat main game, it's familiar. You piano, say you piano and grab her umchita. Hey, you know, you get me. But it was meant to be piano, piano, angi no kama. By the time Uti I get on, it's like the cherry on top, mm-hmm. and not like the foundation of the song. You know what I mean? I feel like she was need to be more prominent on that song, man. To because ca- he writes the beat very well, but. She would have carried the song better and then been out to T.I. We feature as opposed to the other way around. But it's still dope, man. It's still dope. I love it's, it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful song. It's a nice song. They no, it's it not off. a beautiful they song. Put, they they, they pulled it off. It's an okay song, but it's what what the impact of the song is beautiful. Okay, I get it. But yeah. they pulled it off. Like, yeah. I, I, they pulled it off. They, they, it's, it wasn't just like piano song T.I. Yeah. You know, they pulled it off. All right, cool. Uh, Fat Checker? Um, I just wanted to add that it was also produced by a South African producer. Yeah, you can hear. You can hear. Shamburu Makenzo. Yes. Ah, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Just before the beat drum says Shamburu Makenzo. Yes. The, the, yeah. Oh, beautiful, man. Never so heard now, of that name. So now, what do all these hip hop dog niggas have to say? Because he's their goat and he's jumping on a piano beat, but they so don't want to touch piano. Nah, I don't think Tia is It's my piano goat, trap, so. trap. Bro, he's nasty to see his goat. What do you mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can't, oh, you, it was before your time when we interviewed him. But he mentioned he looked up to T.I. Damn. Yeah. Didn't know T.I. was that like, impactful. I know he's a big artist. I just didn't think he's like a Biggie or Park. So or, what about all those hip-hop guys rapper. in SA that don't want to touch piano? T.I., he, had, he started, not started, let me not say started, but he's like... Eh? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if your God is doing piano, who are you? <laughs> Are there still rappers what resisting? Do? Yeah, still. I'm sure. They're resisting. Yeah, am I lying? No, Who's am resisting? I lying? They are, bro. Who's are resisting? All of them. Aries, Aries, Aries is resisting. 25K. Even Nasty He's C. Resist- All yeah. of them. Nasty C, right? Maybe now he's going to change. Nasty yes, yeah. Nasty. Wait, wait, wait. Grab the mic there. Uh, I hear you saying 25k. He has a my piano. Okay, song. so who's yeah, resisting? Um, who's the piano booking yeah, fee? I think Nasty, Aries, um, who else? Big names, I think. Uh... Bo, uh, uh, Shane he's, Eagle. He's, yeah. And I bumped Shane into Shane Eagle yeah. yesterday. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah he, and what about MT? Is he resisting? Ah, MT he doesn't do have him a piano song. I don't but know. MT, if he's I think he's yeah, but I think it. MT would chill. Oh, he'd kill it. He'd man. kill it. MT is. And guys, you're robbing us, dog. Imagine Nasty on a piano beat flowing like TI on Yo. that beat. You guys are just musicians. See yourself as a musician more than a rapper. You know, just make music. Like this thing of. Blackie does it well. 
Oh yeah. Blackie didn't allow to be imprisoned by his genre. He's look at him flourishing. Mm. Cause of it's all love of it. KO, your good man KO. He's also of you know. Oh yeah. yeah. It's all love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pop it dog. Keep it up, no no. Keep it up, dog. Yes, keep it up. But anyway, on a serious note, guys, uh, we got a special announcement to no, make. No wait, I was still talking about Gamu. Oh sorry, yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was just first, I was just bringing her up for the you know for the song she did with oh, yeah. Ti. No, I was saying that the rumor is she's allegedly with one of her dancers. Mm. Yes, and then one of her close friends even said that she must lay off the champagne because she wakes up like on bottles, so on top of bottles. So she's an alcoholic. Hey. She'd fit in right well here, man. No. Yeah, man. Let's give her a podcast. Yeah. Oh, dog. Yeah, so... Uh, no. <laughs> and we don't have dancers. Not good now. Good with Nati. You're fun, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> but doesn't it make sense why an artist would get in the dance? They spend most of their most time of with their time them. together. Yeah, they're, they're on the road, guys. Exactly. Spend it's time, like Rocky, yeah. ne? Uh, you no, not even, understand. not even. <laughs> look, look at Stoney and and Tandy. So they have a child together, obviously, yeah. because even with like dancers, it's like your bandmates because we're in the same car. Every weekend to gigs, it makes sense to catch up. Wasn't Tempe C out there with um, with the days of Boom Shaka? With Theo. Theo. I'm not sure about. Were they together? I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay. For I'm real? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Someone, there was someone, someone, someone was rumored to be together. My papa never told you that as well. No, oh, I'm just. just you know, this is me now. You must have a disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> I even asked. It was a question. I'm like. <laughs> Because you talk about uh, <laughs> Tandy so in stone. I'm like, oh, okay, now thinking of the, the, the groups from way back. But yeah. Okay, before you continue, Ghost Lady, on a serious note, we've got an announcement to make, right? Oh, yeah. Man, since the podcast has started, we've been working with so many brands. So oh, Luka. damn, yeah. Bro, brands come here. They love us. They want to work with us. Uh, they buy into the vision. We promote the shit out of them. We've had good deals. We've had bad deals. Okay. Uh, some have come and when shit hits the storm, they leave us. But, you know, we did wonders for them, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, we've got egg in our face, you know? Mm -hmm. and, but we keep it moving because that's what you got to do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think finally, bro, I think finally we have found a home. This is without a doubt the best brand I've ever worked with, we've ever worked with. Like, they've not tried to... Uh, 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 um, Censor us mm. more than anything. They want more controversy because they thought we're going to get cancelled oh, <laughs> during the period that we're going to be working, and nothing has been <laughs> happening because we're clean now. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So they want more, bro. Like, which is like breath of wow. fresh air for yeah, Brad nice. to say, "Listen, yeah. take you to the top. We'll support you guys." Do Next you. year, we're trying to take over Africa, do branches in Africa. They're like, "Guys, we'll Whoa. support Whoa. you." So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to make some noise. We have just extended our contract with Striped Horse for another six months! Oh. Oh. Striped Horse for another six months, dog. Shout out to Striped Horse. Whether you man. like beer or not. Yeah. Yeah. No bull. Yes. I know. No bull. Yes. No bull. <laughs> it's just yeah. beer. Yeah. How Ooh. do you feel about that, dog? I feel good, man. Let me grab a cold one. Yeah, take a yeah. cold one. It feels good, man. These guys are cheese, bro. Damn. Yeah. I love Strapped Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Come with your own opener. Hey, son. Wow. I came ready. Shout out Striped Horse, man. I love Striped Horse. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing, man. I want to call the brand manager of Striped Horse, no? Yeah. Because so. there's a clause in the contract that if we get cancelled, we get 500k. Yo. So I'm trying to get cancelled right now. We need to. Wait, 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 man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get cancelled, nice or clause. if we get cancelled, then they leave us. Sorry, yeah. If we get cancelled, then they pull out. Oh, you know, like most brands yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They leave us high and dry. Right? Yes. Okay. There's a 500k clause. Don't we need 500k for festive, guys? Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, we need to get cancelled. So canceled. if they dump us, pee pee When we. <laughs> That's dope, man. So if they dump us yeah. when we are getting shit yeah. and cancelled and dragged, yeah. 
then they owe us 500k, 100%. half a mil. Uh-huh. So now I'm trying to find out what we got to do to get cancelled. Like, what are they willing to take? So we, can, so we can do it. Yeah. Because I knew. Oh, so you want to find a case? Yeah, 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 uh, let me call the brand manager, man. Fucking hell. We need more brands like this, man. Ah, those are cool brands. Brands. We, that we get need it, more bro. clothes like brands this. Brands that get it. We need more clothes. <laughs> ah, when you drink a, you know, you're drinking a real one, man, eh? When yeah. you drink a, a striped horse. Yeah. Brands that, you know, let's get it. Mm. Right? Brands that get it. Brands of balls. What, what brands are you working with? Uh, dude, are you working with Cultish? What is that? Uh, I'm not just getting stuff from them. It's a clothing line. Local. It's local, yeah. Local. Dog, so oh, they dog, make bro. amazing stuff, right? And they're the thing, you know, just couldn't make it. What's yeah, yeah, yeah. Marco. Marco? Doing? Yeah, what's happening, Marco? Oh, good. And your side? Good, man. You're live on podcast and chill. So, Penduke is here. Ghost ladies, here, yeah, man. How you doing, guys? Bro, so we heard there's a clause in, in our contract that says if we get cancelled and you guys pull out, you got to give us 500K. So, we're trying to find out what's the worst thing we can do. What are you willing to take? Oh, what are you willing Look, to guys. not take? Look, guys, I'm here. We're here to sell people. We're here to let you guys do you, do your thing. We believe in your guys' show. So, now nah, we, we believe in you guys, man. So, okay, can we, have, so. can we have two midgets doing anal on the show? <laughs> yeah. No, that one. That one, I think I have to call the SCTA and then catch him at 500k same time. Is that ah, we're doing it next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> throughout, throughout the show, they'll be underneath the desk. So you'll hear the sound as we do the show, right? No, then it's nice knowing you guys. Stop. So take your 500k and we're out, yeah? Okay, what about if we take some cocaine during the show? Some lines. Jesus We've Christ. never done that. Yeah, now you guys are asking for it. Now, then, then we definitely... <laughs> Now it's Emilio, ne? Yeah, now it's Emilio. For line. <laughs> we want to do, do a masturbating competition, man. Yeah, to nah, find the longest nah. masturbator Maybe in out. South Africa. No BS, nah, just... Definitely just come. Just strokes. <laughs> no, 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 but on a serious note, Marco, man, uh, thank you so much, man, for taking a chance on us. And why did you guys choose us with so many podcasts, you know, springing up? No, I thank you guys. I mean, at the same time, when you look at a suitable podcast for the brand, it just makes sense for Strike Horse, Noble, just be a new campaign in line with your guys' show and your guys' content. It just makes sense. So we believe in you guys and we thank you guys also for believing in us as a brand. So let's make magic together, guys. Marco, have you guys seen a difference ever since you you joined the podcast? Uh, have you seen a difference in in units in units being sold? Has it been a worthy investment? In other words, no, hundred percent. We're still waiting for the full step on it. But what, what can see on social as well as a bit of the volume, nice. we're seeing positive growth. So it's all due, due to you guys. So shout out to you guys for making an impact on the brand and really bringing. The brand at the forefront. So no man, not shout thing. out to us, man. Shout out to the chillers. Man. Yeah. yeah, and you guys, no, 100%. And, 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 and you guys do, and you guys do truly have an amazing brand, man. This is some good beer. So shout out to you guys as well. And I heard nah, you're on your deathbed. Um, you're sick right now. So if you kick the bucket, this is the last greatest thing you did, man. Hey, it's done. It's done. <laughs> but at least I go out with a bang. With my head out <laughs> Shout out, Marco. Love you long time, man. Peace, fam. <laughs> Shout out, man. Once again, so Penduka, let's make some noise for Striped Horse. Shout out to Striped Horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, we've got a new ice bucket here now. Uh, this is an Woo. ice vascom. It's not, this is not an ice, it's an ice vascom. <laughs> shout out to the ice vascom. <laughs> oh man, shout out to Stripe Toast, man. One love, one love, man. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful Let me man. put this, man. It's a celebration. Muzzle tough. M- yeah, muscle tough. Yeah, Drake bro. says it in one of his lines. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be cool. 
<laughs> no, you did science. How does this work? How do you just twist and then it just goes... It's pressure. Right? Yeah. Pressure. What happens? Please explain. I, I, man, it's the first time I see it, but it's clearly pressure. So when you twist, what happens? I don't know. Look at it. Look at it. It's the <laughs> study. It's basically... This is now our scientist. <laughs> he's, a, he's the in-house scientist. <laughs> How was it made? We have a master's a segment for now. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah, it is. How man. was it made? What do they call these things? Uh, oh, what do they call? I see them. Then isn't emojis. it confetti? I see them in the emoji emojis. Oh, it's, it's called confetti poppers. Confetti poppers. Yeah, it's con- the it confetti. Is con- okay. is this stuff. confetti this is, is that confetti. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the whole thing, confetti poppers, makes sounds like sound right. Imagine you put money in you. Hey, is that how you want to pay? New us? level at strip club. Uh. New strip club level. <laughs> New strip club polling level unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how it's made, dog? Sorry? You don't know how it's made? No, I think I think I think there was air inside, right? So when you twist this thing, you're just releasing the air so that the pressure is gonna push the confetti up. Mm. So they find a way of locking in the air. But we took out this thing Under before, pressure. before we, 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 we went. No, no, but the air is, is when it? you twist, you tear. And then that air that's compressed yeah, into there's a compressed pops out. Yeah, yeah. so and there's two parts of that. The confetti is sealed in its own level. Airtight, obviously, then the air comes out from the... So yeah, that cool, makes man. sense, actually. Anyway, Pinduk, anything else you want to talk about, my dog? Yeah, man. Much of love did thing it dirty, bro. Oh. Oh. Much of love... Much of love <sighs> did... Oh, no, no, no. no, you want what? Pop for Mocha Love. No. Nah, Mocha Love did... Uh, Obani? Oh, oh, come out of dirty. They've released a statement distancing themselves from them. Yeah, My question is, right? Why is it that it's Olani only being thrown under the bus? Who was the program manager? You know, that... Because they made it seem like Olani has been a rogue and they didn't know what was happening exactly. on that show. Exactly. No, they knew what was happening. They knew. On the show. We all knew. And they were we all, happy with what was happening. We all saw ad breaks and the guys coming back yeah, from ad breaks. Yeah, but it's what we're saying about the brands that we worked with previously. Like, yeah. Where when shit is the fan, they're like, hey. We don't know you. Ourselves. It was nice when they were making money together, right? Thank it you. was nice when they were selling and advertising views. together, getting their views together, trending every week together. And now they've, the shit has hit the fan. They're distancing themselves from them. And my thing, I'm worried about him because he's been getting death threats and things like that. And I don't know if Mojah Love was part of the arrangement as far as his security detail is concerned. Uh, but now I'm worried. It's all out there in the cold. And there's no love. And there's, it's not Mojah if there is. <laughs> it's, it's messed up. No, like for real. It's just, it's so disheartening. And he was Who's doing the a good program thing, manager? Bro. Yeah. He was doing a good Who's thing. Who's the commissioning editor? Who's the program manager? Who's allowed, who didn't ask the right bro, questions? Bro, Mojah Love can't just keep, whenever shit is the fan, putting out a statement exactly. and dissolve themselves. Yeah, do, do the shit yeah. going to put out a statement, absolve themselves from anything. You know, but gives his anger. This shit now has hit the fan. Baskins is hard. Bro, and it shows a lot about your company and your character. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Nah, it's bullshit. And they're the ones, we've been trying to get Kulani on the show. They're the ones who said no. Who stopped a lot of people, they've, yeah. A lot of people. Let's be honest, bro. A lot of people we've invited, they're the first ones saying, nah, don't go there, don't do this, don't go there. Those very same people, when they get in cuck, while doing work that they've commissioned and allowed, mm. then uh, 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 they release statements saying we distance ourselves. They've done them really dirty, man. It's 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 a shame. Okay, dude, what would be in the harm in Moja Love having his back? Mm. Good question. I don't know. Like, what does it do to them? It's a simple thing. Like, nah, That's this, this our nigga. No. It's their brand, it's their image, I guess. Maybe image? That, that they're worried. With all the content they have, <laughs> they, they're worried about their image. I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know exactly why. I wish we could have someone because to Because at the end of the day, he was moving with the crew. Like, honestly, I feel like even Who's with... Who's paying for that crew? It's Who's paying for that? They know that those yes. guys are getting tortured. For answers okay. and no, no, no. drugs. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, yes, so, no. so. Those guys were right. getting... No, no, no. So, let's what? think of it. Let's think of it in another, another light. What? Let's think of it in another light. We all saw those Wait. guys come out of the station. Two months boost every year. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm uh, at breaks. <laughs> okay, guys. Many guys were going to go at breaks. Yes, guys. You thought the guys went for a swim. 
Babu has to be too easy. What yo? Small number shark like the man's in. No, guys, I'm just saying. Look at it from this light. Think of it in a net, in, in a different right. scenario where Mocha Love and the crew, whoever is part of it, and they're like, no, nothing happened. Like literally, this is they put out a statement. Like, no, we are literally behind Olani and the team. This is what happened. They put out a statement. At the end of the day, I feel like also their their statement will be believed in courts if they have to go through courts. As who, a team, statement? no, I'm just saying as a team and Mocha Love backing Olani and like everyone. It's like instead of just leaving him out in the cold, but they 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 protect him as a team. Because you're just getting Because Jiggy Jiggy after the ad break. Yeah, no. Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. Yeah, so that man's much about my band. I'm going to ask you to sing his poche. Sing his poche. Shame, man. Sing his sing poche. I'm going to ask you to go to the lap. You know what I mean? Well, Tuesdays are open. Maybe we should have Colani on the network. He's doing amazing things, bro. So he continues. You must just be ready for the heat, though, you know? What heat? From fighting drugs comes with heat, obviously. Oh, yeah. F- from the drug loads, oh, yeah. I mean, come on. It ca- so what? It'll hey. be drug bust and chill. Yeah. Hey. Sniff and chill. I don't think <laughs> they're gonna have dogs this time around. I don't wanna sniff a dog you know? <laughs> or something. I don't know, eh? but it must be ready for the heat too, though, because it does come. You do the laws work, but it comes with a lot of heat. Yeah, it does. Because he was getting death threats maybe and they, stuff. Do you think maybe they caught too much heat? No, someone just died, bro. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Um, behind drugs, they've, it's been reported that even you get politicians, you get very big people. Mm. Of course. Behind the drugs. are important so in chickens, too. The heat, huh? In chickens. Yeah, there were chickens that got, caught, that, uh, got oh, intercepted yeah. uh, by the border in KZN, and that they, they were full of drugs. They're full of drugs, yeah. And Coca- now, Coca- 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 chickens. We, we don't have eggs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All the part for the eggs it's coke they've put in there yeah chiki chiki there's no eggs but these are imports you know there's a whole lot of dumping that happens with chicken from Brazil and stuff that happened in South Africa man this thing is fascinating I can't let go of it eh? it's fascinating man <laughs> sorry sorry sorry, sorry I want to read the statements though from Mocha Love <laughs> 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 ah, it's too long, because no one cares. Ah, uh, eh, we care. Okay, put it up, they'll read it. Uh. <laughs> no, but it's a, it's a very long one, eh? Yeah, no, it's not that long. The statement uh, is out uh, there for people uh, to yeah, read. Yeah, come on. No, really no, no. Much I love TV channels has... We know you can read. <laughs> oh, we know you're reading as a proof. Huh? You don't need to prove it first. <laughs> if we know you're reading, you don't need to prove it. It's I a very long every statement. I've been reading practicing, son. Hey, I want to say, Penduga, shout out to Rwanda, man. They dropped all visas for Africans. Rwanda. Yeah. Oh, man. shout out yeah, to man. Rwanda, man. So, so if you're from go Africa, you don't need a visa. Nothing. I know there's a visa situation also that's getting scrapped with Ghana. Yes. And also Kenya. I think Kenya is also going to We must follow suit, same. man. Yeah. Shout Why out, is it man. that Europeans can travel all over Europe, but we must have visas? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the prices are crazy question. around Africa, guys. Oh, it's a money making scheme. There. It's a money making scheme. Like, it's mm. painful. Mm. You'd have to enter a country and you pay like. What? $50 and in cash. Anyway. All right, cool. So I got some announcements to make. Yes. All right. So this November Podcast and Chill Network is launching its first ever Black Friday special, granting discounts of up to 50% on advertising placements across all our shows on the network. Uh, you can start inquiring now by advertise. Uh, just reach out to advertising at thisismagg.com. Prices will be lower. Mm. Only this month. Uh, Penduka, the shirt you're wearing, is that... Can that's Soriano! Buy this? I, oh, wow, that's son. so dope, bro. Ha, ah, so yeah. ah, We need another T-shirts pop, T-shirts are man. dropping, man. Ah, yeah, so fast. Ah, that's a fucking so, dope yeah, one, man. I'm, it's written most, Sol and Friends. Sol and Friends, yeah. I'm, I'm Sol and Friends. Sh- can't, can't Sol put, and Friends is just me and me. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Can't you put soldiers somewhere there? I like soldiers, man. Soldiers. I'll put soldiers here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, soldiers. Oh, yeah. I'm a soldier. So yes. I'll just put... I'm a seaway. Yeah? Yes. I'm a soldier. So are those for, for sale? Are you going to sell those? Yeah, yeah, we're selling these. Dope. We're just trying out different materials and b- different stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, but definitely we're going to go live pretty Dope. soon Dope. online and you can buy them there. you like a proper influencer now, eh? Hey. Merch. Um, yeah, you're the original influencer. <laughs> like, come on now, he's got flops. He's got sandals. He had condoms before anyone had condoms. Mm. He's got t-shirts. No, you're a proper influencer, you know I mean? so. Yeah, yeah, I am. True. Legit. Yeah. Please send me that color. I like that color. Hey, this color. You want? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's so many other dope colors. There's like pink and <gasps> green. Wow. Oh, like there's amazing colors. You'll see all the colors. 
So are you who are you using? <laughs> who, are, who are you using for for to, for production? Um, I'm using different guys now. Uh, oh. from you were there. You you know Victoria Yards where you were, where mm. they the precinct where Temple Jeans operates from. You were there looking Wait. for a venue, Victoria Yards in uh, Lawrenceville. Wait, which, the car says you were there. What? Uh, what? Where is it? Pretoria. Ah, ah Joburg. Boma. Boma. You remember why FM used to be in Petrams? Petrams, yeah. Yeah, weren't you oh, there looking for yes, a venue? Yes, yes, see, yes, 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 yes. With white people. Yes, yes, I see in, it. And yes. the art thing. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The production is there. But then, you left us with your ex to do the podcast ah. merch. No, her, her plates are full. <laughs> You know, her plates are full with you guys and the merch and stuff. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, the plate is very full. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're a slave driver, man. <laughs> so her plate is full. You know what I mean? Yo! <laughs> so I'm going elsewhere, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, their plate is full with the podcast merch. I let them be doing that. All right, cool. Uh, if you're a baller, uh, Onside ZA will be broadcasting live on the 11th of November at the Sofeng in Soweto. Ooh. Oh, damn. For the Soweto Derby. So make sure you get out there. So it's going to be live on YouTube. They're going to do a watch along with people at this whole thing. When is the Soto Derby? Uh, next week, Saturday, ne? 11th of November, yeah. It starts at 3.30 p.m. Oh, shout out to this whole thing, man. And the owner, what's his name? I forgot the guy's owner. Demo, shout out to Debs. I mean, yeah. they're doing great So things. outside is going to be there. They're doing a live broadcast. So yeah, if you're a chiller and a baller from Soweto, make sure you head out to the whole thing. Shout out. And maybe you might be on the episode, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. See, that's the stuff. What kind of stuff we must do, dog? Why don't we do it, man? We don't have the equipment, chief, or the budget. Yo. Ha! What's a strapped horse? We've nee. got the budget. Yeah. Nee. Come on, man. Don't you have another popper? What? Don't you have another popper to pop? Ah, oh, it's gone, it's gone. Ah. Uh... Bro, it's your birthday horse tomorrow. Never leave us, man. The shit we could. I don't think stripe this. horse will leave us, man. They're solid. It's not even a real zebra. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not a real zebra? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when Zekar, when you know when Zekar, I'm like... <laughs> wish, wish Mac happy birthday tomorrow. It's your birthday tomorrow. When this oh, episode drops, yeah. Oh, yeah. damn, Funzo! Yeah! <laughs> It's a birthday on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. So, ah, happy yeah. birthday, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. What are you doing for your birthday? Be... <laughs> what are you doing for your Look birthday? Look at him hate this moment. Look at you hate this How moment. How old are you turning? What, what are you getting for your birthday? What are you doing for your birthday? Ah, I'm just spending time with the family, man. No uh, big Man, you spend time with the family every day. All the time, yeah. Yeah, but this one is like really <laughs> spend time. You don't really spend time? No, I do, but this one is like real. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How old are you turning, man? 36. Nice, mm. nice. So when you blow into, you know, when there's a cake and you have to blow and make your wish, what are you, what are you wishing for? Uh, life. Mm. To breathe, to wake up. <laughs> 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 oh, so you got, um, is, has Tux in, uh, confirmed that he's going to help you with the hit? The remix? Yeah. Yeah, I said he's busy with a couple, but he might. That would oh, okay. be a nice uh, okay. present. That's a nice birthday present. Mm. What are you okay, getting me, so? Let's put out, let's, hmm? oh. What are you getting me? A Soliano t-shirt. <laughs> I'll get you a Soliano t-shirt, my boy. No, Considering but... you got me nothing for my birthday. <laughs> I'll get you a Soliano t-shirt. But See, ne, remember what he asked for you. Like about a month, a month ago, you were wearing some t-shirt and he said, if you, love, yeah, if you love him. The gorillas. The gorillas, gorillas. Yeah, yes. Uh, I'll get you that. Two, two t-shirts. Okay. Then. Sorry, Soliano. Yeah, Soliano and, and gorillas. No stress. Hey, grab the mic. Let's go around. I want to see what everyone's getting me, man. Yeah. Let's go to Tibla, man. <laughs> Okay, let's start uh, with Simpio. Simpio, what are you okay, getting me? Okay, jump me. What are you getting me, my dog? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the behind you. A steak snack man. of stripe, stripe, of stripe toast. Yeah. Ah, uh, we get that for free, my uh, man. Yeah, I call. I call. Nigga, yo, I'm a man. I'm a man. The thought is, is what counts. You're gonna give him I'm a black, a Black you. Friday invoice, ne? Yeah, sound. Yeah. Half oh, price. Yeah. 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 Half price, ne? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> I was joking. Fed check. What are you getting me? I'll send my invoice early. It won't be half, but I'll send it early on your birthday. I'll send my invoice. Ah, I'm not You're getting an love. invoice. Yeah. You're getting an invoice. Just invoice. So when you see me, you guys see invoices. Huh? <laughs> wow. It's money, man. Ching, ka ching. I'm kidding, man. Anyway, so uh, 
20th of November, I, I'm out at West Palm Beach in Florida, man. So if you're chilling in the US, make sure you check me out there. Uh, tickets are doing bad, so that's why I have to mention that. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yeah, tickets are bad. That's <laughs> American. I'm a team. I'm a team. Uh, we thought it's a Saturday looking phenomenon. <laughs> Times are bad for everyone. <laughs> 20th November, West Palm Beach. If you want to find out where I'm at, just follow my socials. But yeah, oh, dope. that's it. My dog, you? Uh, What's going on? What about me? What's happening? Oh yeah, Soliano, my fair too. We did a music video as well for Lonely Nights. We're nice. going to drop that. We just uh, recorded it this week. Uh, Soliano merch dropping also. And then, yeah, man. Proud of um, dog. Let's rock and roll. Love you long time, man. Ghost lady? What am I doing? Mm. I'm ghosting, guys. Don't you go. know, taking it uh, undercover and, you know, staying blind. Why are you not taking it in the <laughs> you open? You can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, oh, please know. welcome the king of three step. Is he the Taxi. <laughs> so, Penduka, I'm so excited, man. Dude, I know you are. This one is for me. This one. This yeah, one is this for one me. Is for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our friend of the show, the most wanted, the most booked DJ only. in the country right one now. One and only. One and only. Taxi in the hit maker. <laughs> most wanted producer. He's been making us dance all year, bro. Taxi, yes, how are you, yes. my dog? I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you? I'm good, man. Genius. Salute. 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 Good to have you, bro. Salute. Good to have you. But before we start, man, I got a bone to pick with you guys. You tugs and guys. There's too many of you, man. It's confusing, tugs and, bro. Tugs and 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 tugs there's there's Lala Tuxin. Yeah. Right? Uh he does boom. Yeah, kinda uh, uh, he plan. Mm. He plan. Legendary right? to yeah. Then there's a piano Tuxin DJ. Tuxin from Force the 2080. Tuxin DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who he works with Central. Works with Central, did Abu 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 Mlanji, me part of that. Yes. Yeah. And then there's three step, king of three step. Then there's then there's uh, Afrotech. How many Tuxins are in Afrotech? Hmm. Mm, so far, it's just, just a, then there's yeah. an Afrotech Tuxin, him. No, he's three step. He's the king of three step, dog. Ah, uh, would you say three step is under uh, uh, Afrotech? Um, no, it's a subgenre. On this. Yeah, it's a subgenre. Oh, shit. Okay, then there's... there's, there's the three-step god. Three-step god, yeah. Yes. Doesn't it get confusing? Uh, to me, it doesn't, but maybe to... to oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> that to maybe to other people, it really... Because um, sometimes I used to, like, back then, I used to get, like, uh, texts where it's, like, uh would like to... Uh, to, for you to come to a show, what dot dot dot, and then I'm like, okay, it's not aligning, it's not speaking to me. Can just they want maybe the piano guy or the piano guy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, ish, it's sad, it's sad. It's but sad. I feel like you're running with the name. It's like about DJ China. There were so many Chinas, you know, like almost every cast has got a DJ China, whatever. But only one then blew up and became like. The even, China guy. So even he's running with the name. He's becoming. Everybody else is gonna have to drop their names. Even Mac G, because there was a Mac G before yes. I decided to retire uh, to come out of retirement. Mm. <laughs> now there's another one trying to fight. There, so of two bunnies, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and this what? It's well, where do bunnies stay? Not in a crowd. It's not big enough for two bun for two bunnies. There could only be one Mac G. But you you're running with the name. You've taken ownership of it, man. What's your yeah. full name though? Uh, Tabang. Tabang. Yeah. So how did you get to Tagzin? I don't even think the guy even remembers because it was just the next door neighbor that just Uncle Moon, hey, team man, this and this and then and that, that hey, guy. Hey, don't even say team man. There's so many team men as well. Team man, as well. Been... No, no, I say. It's team man express. Yes. <laughs> team man. Just team man. <laughs> it's because of the names. About Tamba, I think, or about Tamba, not about team man. Sometimes with Tamba, so team man, team man, Joe. It's yeah. like. Solomzi, then no Solomon, I was soli. Then I was soli, I was ning. So you also started with T-Man as well at some point? Yeah, no, but it was, it was like, ah, T-Man, what, what. But I had to, when that guy said Tugsin, I'm like, okay, that is different. Yeah. And I did my research, go color. There was no tags in. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they don't see, no one is seeing a tags in. And uh, Lala Tugzin was already there though. No. He wasn't there. No, no. From me, now, from my my knowledge, Max yeah. Ocheka, when I decided on I'm gonna go as tags in, yeah. there was no other tags in. Yeah. 
Yeah, there was, yeah, literally no other tags in. So I started seeing this name pop up. I'm like, oh, okay, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So so I'm tuned into this podcast. Uh, we've been dancing to your songs, but we don't know who tags in is. Like, tell us about your journey, man. Like, how did it start? Yo, um, the musical journey. Mm, mm. For me, Nisuga from Itaima. Um, Taima has been, was a music, uh, a pianist and a, a drama. So um, it, Used to he used to just magani talk fair and then he would be the guy that is like okay in Donayam is all buried in Donayam is all is all lala and then he would help me pick songs and be like okay ingo me so na so na so na so masses chavli le play this masses what was he playing house uh, no it was it was a bit of everything oh, okay There's, there was jazz there was fusion oh, uh, bro. you know so um, R and B also mm, so yeah. I learned all of those and also just knowing how to please. The crowd, you know, where mm. it's like Bali is the bad lexil, and then Sninin, you know, when to take my things with Ali Bazo Suguma. When I play this one, I know they're gonna be a lot more chill. So I learned from there. It's okay, okay, this is how you handle the crowd in terms of the DJing side of things. And also now uh, the musical journey now comes from because he used to buy, he, he, he used to buy my keyboards okay. and then he would buy those and then be like okay just play around with it see born good and then he'd come through and be like okay lala so na so na so at that time for me it didn't make sense because I'm like hey me na mfunu kila disc ya o I just wanna do my thing and I, that was but to him it was like I know just Try it, try it. And little did I know, would see later on, it would make a lot of sense. It's your career. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Pumava? Uh, from Ivory Park. Oh, Ivory Park. Yeah. God, the East has got talent, eh? Ivory Park or East? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does, bro. So you're talent, like you play. Who are Dala Taxi? Oh, yeah. You know, like, I'm very fascinated, man, you yeah. know? Actually, I used to. And then now, yeah, um, Kamba West Kati, because I didn't take it serious. It's my Maling Fundis. You know, Kamba West Kati, that thing went away. But the notes, understanding the notes, yeah, and yeah, understanding chords. a chord and this and this, this is wrong, this is right, this is, you know, that I know. You know, and now it's now that I'm trying, slowly trying to get back into just playing. Playing the keys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you draw. Drawing is like, you know, you yeah, can play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. people who don't know, yeah, yeah. then you... It's I draw, thing. I draw as well. Yeah, yeah. So you open a piano roll, which is a piano on the One keyboard. One I draw, guys. You draw how? No, can you believe it? Guys, I must make a beat live, ne? Please. Please bring a... You've got reason, ne? I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got logic, yeah. And, no, I, and I've, I've got, got reason. I've got reason. Piano rolls, they're all the same. Ah, well, you want me to fuck up? No, no piano rolls reason. are all the same. Give me reason, I'll okay, make okay. a beat. Yeah, so wow, man, I'm so fascinated, bro. And it's such a great skill to know, like, especially when you're a producer, right? Yeah. But I mean, even when you draw, it doesn't take away anything because it's still music at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Heavy K, remember when we were interviewing him? Yeah. He draws so much that he can draw a beat without even listening to the song. What? Yeah. Like in silence. Yeah. It makes sense. If you know your, your, your notes oh, and stuff, nice. yeah. 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 You'll know, fair enough. But I mean, why would you want to do that, you know? So, first time I got introduced to Tagzin, eh? it was deep in the city last year. Yeah. Uh, Begzin invites me. Uh, yeah. He's like, come through, man. Uh, first time I went to deep in the city, get there, Murder was playing. One-on-one -on -one with Kulo the song. And I don't know, for some weird reason, Murder was killing Kulo, bro. Every song that Murder put on, like, was on fire. So, Begzin is like, yo, do you know that's Tagzin's production, all of it? I'm like, what the fuck is this? First time I heard three steps. Jeez. How did you come up with the with, with that sound? Remember that night though, eh? Yeah, I remember. It was fire, eh? Oi, bro. Hey. Yeah, but it, it was cool. It was cool. And he was playing most of your stuff, Murder, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was just mixing it with a little bit of his and also, yeah, but mostly the yeah. stuff that... Is that where you first met Murder? No. Oh, you had known him way back. Yeah, we had met before a mm. uh, playground, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did you come up with the sound then? How did you, did you stumble upon it by mistake? I, I don't think it was by mistake, but because um, I used to be a, a producer, a, a, a house producer before Three Step, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I was more on the tech side, Afro tech. And then I started realizing when I go to, uh, uh, at clubs here in SA where it's like I'm like I'm feeling a little bit of a disconnect because I'm making the sound 
for that side, but I'm not that side. I'm here. Yes. Know? And whenever I play the sound here, there's a bit of a disconnect. Yes. You know? so, yeah, it's like, hey, yeah, well, and the people, my is like, hey, I actually it. Yeah. And they move on to yeah, something yeah, else yeah. in most cases, you know. So when I, 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 I realized that, I'm like, okay, cool. Um, what's happening in the club? I'm like, piano's rocking. Of course. Piano's rocking. Cool. There's the I go to deep house spaces. It's rocking also. Mm. I'm like, what can I take from the piano? Mm. I listen to it. I'm like, what moves the people? Is it the bass line mm. or it's the bass line? Cool. Uh, I'm like, okay, cool. Go to the Amakrotman deep house. Listen to deep house. I'm like, okay, but under my chords, chords. Okay, cool. Let's take the chords. You know, so um, from that sound, the le- 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 tech that I was doing, I was like, I need to incorporate these sounds. Um, from different spaces because it's almost as if Mawin's Afro Tech, you need to stay there. Yes, stay yes, lane. Box yourself, piano, yeah. You need to stay there. But then it does it wasn't I don't I felt like it was not innovative enough to go by like that. So I'm like, let me just try fusing these things and wow, see what's man. gonna happen. And then I tried it. And then when I went to the to the club to play, um the exact reaction that I was anticipating I got. Wow. Where it's like, okay, Jeez, cool. Bro. In the in the in the in the in the in the club space where there's a lot of Ama piano DJs, if I rock a song that has like a, a proper bass line that is more or less on the piano side, they're moving. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. And then I started just doing that as a as a practice where it's just I wanted to just create a sound that would co- connect firstly uh Africans, yeah. where it's like the rhythm of yeah. the rhythm part of things, because we we do love rhythm. Yeah, you know, we yeah, do, yeah, yeah. We we are rhythm mm. uh, uh, based based when mm. it comes to the sound and everything. So I'm like, okay, let's get the rhythm going. And then yeah, I went to the I'm a piano space. It's the core. It's the bass line. Went to the deep. You heard the lock, lock drum as well, ne? Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. you use lock drum, ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, but you fucked up the game, now Because now piano teachers are playing three step now. <laughs> ah, but it's music. I mean, you know, it's, it's all music. What can we say? You know what I mean? And piano borrows from a lot of sounds to make it a um, piano. So you'd expect those DJs. What you don't hear, it's Afrotech DJs playing a um, piano. But it makes sense for piano guys. So how do you come up then with the, the, the three step? The, the kick, because it's normally four kicks. Yeah, 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 it's normally just one, boom, boom. two, just linear four yeah. beats on a, yeah. you know, for, and you, you you made it like gong, gong, gong. I'm assuming that's why they call it street, three step, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's like the simplest way to just explain what three step is, which is the kick. Um, it's one, two, three. It's supposed to be a one over four. Yeah, kick, yeah. One, yes. two, four three, by four. four yeah. That is like one, two, three. Then there's this space. Yeah. So what do you do with the space? You fill it up maybe with the percussions. Oh, you know, yeah. You know, so it creates, when that kick is not hitting, it creates a lot of space that you can play around and just... So then it's, it's three steps. It's boom, boom. Eh? Boom, boom. It's one, two, three. You know? Hey. Or it's one, one, two. You know? Hey. Jab, jab. <laughs> So it's slightly different from because there's a broken beat. Yes. A broken beat is still a four over four because it's just broken. It's just a broken beat. It's one, two, three, four. Mm. You see? So there's still like four. Wait, so the time signature in, in three step is not four over four? It's four over four, oh, but okay. the way it hits, it yes, hits, yes, it's, yes, it's one like kick missing. one, two, three. There's yes. one kick missing. Oh, okay. Because yeah. Bunkele and the Bongs are a murder, and he was like, yeah, but so, three step is just broken beats, according to him. That's what he said. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is it broken beats? It is broken. I don't think it's broken beats, because when it's broken beats, it's still four. It's... Well, it's still one over f- four, but when it's three steps, it's just three kicks. It's not, yeah. one, you know. So on on a broken beat, it's you still have four kicks. Yeah, you still have that one, two, three, they just, four. The kicks are not broken. Not necessarily, yes. Yeah, so they're not in place, but not necessarily. You can have two kicks. That's a broken beat. You can, yeah. How should I see this? Ah, my fit. Look, the, the the hats, the counting is still. When you're gonna mix one, no, 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 or four, uh, but the beats doesn't necessarily need to be three or four or two in broken beats. It's difficult to sound size season, man. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I see. Man, I just keep on managing myself too. I can't how. But that's that's what I thought. That's, I'm yeah. under that impression, you know, I'm, yeah. like, yeah. So, you're the first one in the country to do that three step, that what we know now is three step. Yes. Wow. Yeah, he Jesus. is. The way he does it, bro, yes. something else. Yes. Fucking bro. hell, bro. And you got three of the biggest songs that I think of the year. 
so far, which is Mohegan Sun. That's you, ne? Yeah, I, I I worked on it. And then we've got Horns in the Sun, Toss. which every DJ plays. Now. Oh yeah, is that not song of the year, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the new summer days. Yeah, it's the new summer days. If you think about it, yeah, it, it's gonna, yeah, That's yeah, it's creeping up very. Like it, it is. It's big already, but it, it could be actually. Because when I go to a gig, the DJ before me is gonna play. The DJ after me plays it. Oh. Yeah. Everyone plays. You it. making a reference to it like being maybe the next summer days actually is mind blowing to me because. Um, when we made the song, the idea of the Yaba Yaba Ye was coming from, we need to create a sound that people can just sing along to like Summer Days. Oh, you know? Yeah, it's like, bro. have a song like Summer Days where people are just having fun. You know, when you... You're just having fun. Same as as as, as yeah. uh, we wanted to invoke that feeling also with uh, Horns in the Sun where it's like Yaba 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 Ye. Hey. You are hip, you just yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But isn't that the original is Kent's song, yeah? Yeah, the original. So how do you get to work with Kent? Yeah, bro. Well, for me, it was a, a significant thing because Kent, I looked up to him. I look up to him till now, you know. Um, production wise, I used to listen to his music. Now you look down on him. <sighs> no. No, I agree, he's he's taller than Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, in a literal sense, <laughs> literal you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it's hard to <laughs> accept that. <laughs> <laughs> but looking up to him, uh, shy, shy, Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I, I looked up to him uh, growing up and also when I was making music. I'm going to music. I was listening to his mixes. I would reference a lot from, from what he plays and also the music that he releases. So now when he he, he, he he hit me up saying, hey, dog, let's work on something. And I have a remix that I would like you to do. For me, it was just an honor. We took okay, as in, I'd, just, I'd like to honor this thing because it's a very special thing. I used to look at this person from there. Now he's here and now we are working. You know, he wants to work. So I did that remix, um, finished it. And then uh, there was something missing. It was nice, but... Uh, uh, I played it for 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 murder, and then it's like, yeah, it's nice, but I feel like there's something missing. Wow. That's when he came with the idea of we need to find that kind of a vocal that is um, summer days like, summer days like, and then that's when he brought in Brendan Price. Sure, that's Brendan Price. Yeah, that is Brendan Price. Oh, Yes, yes. Yeah. Fuck. I think you recorded it in his studio, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you can wow. check the, the remixes, um, the 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 one that I'm part of, there's Brendan Praise, there's Murder, there's myself. And then when you go to the, the other ones, it's Moti and Kent and then Oh, never, I never heard the original. Yeah. So the oh, other Moti remixes is don't the horns, have yeah, yeah, from Mikasa yes. there. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. oh, cause it's in the original. Yeah, the horns, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. But the yaba yaba yeah, yeah wasn't the really not. Oh, is okay. not on the original. And that's what makes the song, bro. Uh, Keeps it moving, bro. Oh yeah, bro. Shit, man. Hey, so was that your first attempt at the remix? Because you know sometimes you're doing a remix such as someone that you've looked up to, yeah, and you don't yeah. you want to get it right. Maybe we'll do a few versions and scrap them off, and now nah, we'll start again. I can't work like that for me, because I, I think whenever I I work, I'm inspired. I just go in fully. And um, if I pumanga, I pumanga. I pumanga. Yeah. 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 Well, but in terms of, oh, let me try another one. I've never actually had to do something like that. It's always been, nah, remix, let's do, if it's a remix, let's do the pumile sharp done. One attempt one. Yeah. And how do you work with remixes? Because I'm trying to get you to remix a single that I'm dropping with Sykes. What what arrangement do you have with with like a Kent or someone else who wants maybe you to remix their songs? Okay, well, firstly, there is a teaming in Spana Nayo, mm. but firstly, it needs to be the paperwork needs to be proper proper. So what we really chase is the paperwork first before we can just do anything, so that we don't traumatize each other when time goes on. So here's Mac. He says, let's do a remix. What paper are you talking about? Okay, we're talking about... The split do, sheets. Split sheets. Do we have uh, some rights to the split sheets? Mm. Is there a certain fee that you're proposing in terms of... Because um, it's a producer? remix. Yeah, it's a remix. The producer fee is the producer fee. Mm. A remix fee also. Mm. You know, it's just getting the facts. So you got a remix fee right now? Yeah. You the, must, ne? Yeah, there is a remix Because I thought that's how it works. I thought you pay the remix fee. Because yeah. I get it's not your song, yeah. and then there's no split sheets involved. But okay, that's interesting. 
because then it becomes a whole separate new song. When you? When you remix it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why you must be in the split sheets. Yeah, well, it's it's an optional thing. Mm. You, whether you would say that's why that's why I say we have to deal with the paperwork first, so that we okay. avoid such things. Yeah. Where I'm assuming that you are thinking, ah, if I just pay you this, then there's no split sheet or yes. there's nothing. Yes. So now it's just getting the agreement. Where is it making sense? To can we get? Is is there part of the split that we can be in? Then mm. you're like, okay, no, yes, I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with this. So just getting that first. And yeah, yeah after me. that, I know them. Now, when I'm creating, I'm creating freely. Nice. I don't have to be. So, worried. so Horns in the Sun, you in the split sheet? Yeah. yeah. Ah, nice. Dude. Yeah, because that's a massive song. Yeah, Imagine you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine they just only, only the original composer and writer, right? Get, get the lyrics and I mean the the the, the royalties. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a big song. And then Yevo, yes, God. Yes, God. Yevo goes. How did that come about? Yo, um, Oscar needed a remix. Um, and then he hit up uh, Upong's murder, mm. and then is like, can we, can I, can we rock something there? And then murder is like, actually, we can actually do it with Tugsen. You know, we can just do like a, 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 a remix together. Yeah. And then let's see what's gonna happen. And then I stayed with the with the vocal for, for quite some time, uh, because uh, I had to initially start the project, and then. Um, we see how we work from there. Sure. So Ngathala and I, for some time, I didn't, I wasn't really inspired that okay. much. And then as, uh, towards the date where it's like, okay, now Deadline. the song needs to, you know, yeah. I tried something and then I did, uh, uh, you know, the drums and the bass line, but I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Murder is like, please send it to me. Let me just hear. Yeah. And then when I sent it to him, he's like, bro, what are you talking about? Fuck, this is fire. This is it. Yeah. You know, and then, Within a span of two days, I think the song was just finished. It put in the music, him and how keys just. Yes, I wanted to I wanted ask to you. Do. Yes, the. Yeah, that's ba -ba 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 that's my keys, man. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he's yes. got a jazz background. Yeah, 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 he comes yes, from yes, very yes, musical yes, background. Yes. Yeah, that was crazy, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you do on that like remix? Drum pattern. The drum pattern. Or the three stage. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, What is the arrangement? The arrangement was done by Mera and 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 and, and Muhawki. Yeah, no, they know their stuff. And to, that's why Mera doesn't get enough praise. Like, you, you know, you, for you, you, like yeah. Brendan. He's praised. Oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't have praise. Like Brenda, like Brenda. She yeah. doesn't get enough praise also. <laughs> but that's where you see that uh, the collective work, some uh, collective effort. Yeah, well, my name is Sevens and Ninongo. Because when I listened, to, initially when I listened to the song, I'm like, uh, my man, this is a reprise, man. Just maybe arrange it better where you put in more kicks, where there's more mm. kicks. But when you listen to the song, it's actually uh, the other way around, where mm. a normal song would have more kick drum pattern happening yes. and then you'd have less bridge yes you know so now with yes god it's almost like an intro yes where it's just the music, oh, the yes. music. Yes. Oh. And, then, and then it's just a couple of maybe a minute or 30 seconds where there's we, like a kick boom, boom, and, this, we, and this and yeah. this and this yeah so now hey, building up that energy of how do you replace uh, uh, when there's no kick how do you build up the energy wow. of the song where people are still engaging like that and then for me now it wasn't making sense but when 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 I heard it, and yeah, I had to like uh, 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 warm up seat. to it. Yeah, and be like, okay, okay, now we, we okay, now it's fine. Right, it's, it's one of the biggest songs like, right now. That could be country. song of the year, actually. Yeah, that and Hongs in the Sun. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's contention for one of the biggest songs in, in New Year's Eve. Yeah, no, yeah. that's a big song. Uh, Mohican Sun. Yeah. And you guys are a dangerous combo because Moai Keys is there as well, ne? Yeah. How did that come about? Mohican Sun. Uh, that was not, that was actually not, the beat that you, you guys know, that was not it. Um, there was the, initially the first instrumental that, which I did, mm. um, and with, with, with murder. So with that instrumental, it wasn't moving that much. So they met up, I think at some point, uh, Oscar was there in the studio session. And then they sort of created something new from the start. And then me and I came in later on now, because now when I heard it, it was a whole different song, you know. I came in later on to just put in the 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 
the spices and the yeah. whatnot and the whatnot. And then, yeah, that's how it came about. That's yeah. how... Yes. Murumba, yeah. whose idea was to get Murumba? Murumba Peach was initially on the original beat. Ah, that you, you did. Know? So it was when we worked... The second version that you guys know is almost as if we were... Where's the original? Can't you play as the original? I don't have it oh, anymore. Dog, damn it. Ish. Who is it? I uh, know, it's underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I nah, know, I don't think you guys are going to uh, like it that much hey. uh, in terms of it's, it was just wow. a little bit flat. But, like, again, what I'm saying, collective effort, mm. you know. Oscar was there also to make Beautiful. sure he came up with the baseline, this and this. Oh, and this damn. And this. Oscar Mo came up with the baseline? Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow really? crazy, man. You see, so it was just that collective effort. How do you feel now that, okay, piano DJs are now playing three-step, right? Yeah. Um... Uh, piano DJs are now producing three step. I mean, if you listen to Cubs' new song, the one that we like, uh, with Reason, Imitandas, and, Imitandas, it's got a three step influence. I think it's more broken beats, it's more broken beats, but it's got a three step influence though. Yeah. How do you feel with like everybody now chasing your sound? I'm actually happy. Wow. Um, for me, I, I, I don't. I'm not a gatekeeper. I can't gatekeep a sound. Yeah. You know? bro. For yeah, the mere yeah, fact that people tell just that to want to. Man. Yeah. I. <laughs> you know, but I I I can't get keep. <laughs> I can't get keep a sound. No, but yeah, it's, you can't. It's, it's moronic. It's, How do you get keep a sound? It's, bro? Awesome. it's music, bro. Yeah. So for me, you know, it, it feels like because also remember um, when these uh, I'm a piano DJs are playing uh, three step now. Mm. Remember they were they are DJs. Mm. You know, uh, most of them, the ones that actually are comfortable in switching, they're not more on the production side, they're more on the DJing side. Yes. Where it's like, the people love this thing. Yes, let's give, now, give let's the people, give people what they want. That's, you know? yes. that's what a DJ does. So mm. me, I'm not, mad, I'm not mad at that. And when it comes to producers, it's like, yeah, the more we, we grow, we're inspired by something. Now you're inspired by something. You adapted something from something. You know, for piano to come, there was a deep house. Mm. It had to immigrate. So, ah, no, no, no. I don't, I, I don't see it working. But you don't have pressure, my dog, because now you got to keep the hits coming, bro. I know, me, I make music. I don't make hits. Hey! You don't chase hits. I don't chase hits. hits. Yeah, me, that's the way, it's, man. It, it's, a, it's about a feeling. You yeah. know, I just make music from a, 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 a feeling perspective. I don't think of, I don't like thinking like that. Yeah. Because when then you, you limit yourself. And then you get disappointed and yeah. then you're depressed and then you Because most of the times, the songs times. you actually like, people don't like. True. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the songs you don't like, people fucks with. Do you yeah. feel pressure though to continue making three step? Like when you make a different sound, people will be like, ah, he's deviating from what we want to hear him make. Okay, here's the thing about me. Um, uh, a lot of people, whenever they talk about three step, sometimes they say, I do not, they feel like I, I'm not taking the flowers when yes. people are giving it, giving it to me. But for me, I think that's where it is, where it's like, I'm not only three step. Yeah, as you a know? producer can imagine. Yes, yeah. so I, I, I'm still going to explore and do this and this and this. And I if, call some fit. I, I'm He's telling you, the the ah, but for me, I don't want to get in that box. I need to get into it. Bro. I want to control the narrative. That's the thing. I don't You're want an to. Artist. Yeah, I want to be able to control the narrative. Yourself. So if it's not working like that, it's you, it's fine. You know, it's it's a vibe thing for me. I, like I'm saying, I'm not chasing hits. I'm just chasing good music. So if Beautiful. good, like now we just released the song, uh, uh, the Zakes Banduni song, uh, featuring myself and 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 Suffocate. Oof. And it's 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 not three step. Wow! But it's beautiful music. It's on Zix's album. Yeah, it's it's the single that came out uh, last week. The one about Mama, Mama Tula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there? Yeah. yeah. Yo, yeah. what a, a suffocate beautiful dude. song. He's also a producer. Crazy producer. Breathtaking Ooh. suffocate. I got some questions from the chillers, man. Uh, ask him what was the deal with low key records. Okay, uh, Loki Records, Bewi uh, Lebuga, Prince KP. Oh, yeah, that is that is it started, and then um, I was I was part of it for a short while, and yeah, for me, I felt like I need to for me to be able to grow and not disappoint myself. I have to be in a space where I'm 
I'm happy with yeah. what I'm doing. Not to say I wasn't happy, but I felt like things were moving slow. Yeah. In a yeah, nutshell, yeah, yeah. you needed to go fetch your life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, right. <laughs> I'm gonna explain. You know, I can summarize this thing, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, ask him who is his role model and who would he like to work with? Because hmm. I feel like the world is your oyster right now, dog. You could work with anybody, yeah, bro. Yeah. Everybody wants a touch of Tuxin right now. Yeah. Well, for me, it's a weird thing. Um, I'd, I'd really love to work with Pharrell. Nice. Pharrell. Pharrell is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing yeah. musician. I can call Charlemagne. I can speak to him. Salute. Yeah, bro. Podcast and chill, my face. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'll manage what you say, sir. Yeah. Ah, cool. Ah, cool. 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 Ah, so producer, man, so composer. Yeah, I don't salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's your process, man, when you start a song? Say it's not a... Okay, what's your process? Yeah, when you start an original composition. Yeah, um, I like to be in an organic space, so uh, maybe I'll just get into studio, like the Fruity Loops, and then I just randomly play. I don't want to be doing a beat or any, any. I just randomly play. What the melody keys. keys. Yeah. And then through me just playing random things, I find a melody there. And then I'm like, okay, let's put that from there. Yeah, well, so the simplest thing for me to do is a bass line. Uh, so I just go also uh, after the melody, go on the on the drum pattern and just create the drum pattern. And then the bass line is the last thing in Klinangai. Oh, beautiful, man. Ghost so. Lady, you got any question? Um, For me, I just wanted to get to the point where you guys spoke of there's a huge waiting list, obviously, for people to work, who want to work with you, Taxin. Yeah. And like, how many people have actually come forward to you and what's the, your selection process? Yo. I think the better question would be who doesn't? Who hasn't approached you? Everyone has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, there have been quite a number of people um, who have been approaching and, and interested in, in, in the sound, in whether fusing the sound or doing remixes or just acquiring stuff. Uh, but for me, like I'm saying, the first thing that I look at, um, am I liking the proposal? But give us give us some names. Who are those people you're talking about? Or even people you declined. You're like, mm, mm. No, I don't want to work with you. Hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, no, um, uh, people that have been coming through, it's, it's of course, the Major League guys. Major League, oh. yes, um, yes, yes. Yeah, doing something there with them. And... Yeah, I mean, there's quite a number. Of nah. Yeah. So yeah. there's some stuff coming up. Yeah, yeah. We should look at for. Mongati law and then things with ah. Yeah, well, but okay. So. Let's, let's let's give him some names. Anyone international? Let's give him some names. Okay. Uh, Jazik. Yeah. He wants to work, ne? I've actually done something. You done something? Yeah. Okay, I'm not surprised. Um, <laughs> who else? I'm not you, Jazik. Secretly, he really loves him. You know, one head, you just say one head. Come, sir. Oh yes, comes up. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Wow. But what uh, what have you heard about what he's saying about Jason? Have you heard anything? No. For real? No, no, no. I think he likes it, dog. You can hear in this album that he dropped with Mtunzi. Mm. It's very Afro house inspired, like some of. The but that's because of Mtunzi. Mtunzi is like an Afro soul, Afro pop artist. He's very versatile, but that's his core, like a home sound. Yeah. Yeah. Musa Keys. Not yet. Mm. Not yet. Who else? Give me some names, bro. So many producers. Yeah, so many producers, man. Let me Google. I'm a piano producer so, in SA. I'm a piano producers, really, really producers, you know. They give their stuff to these guys, so there's not really many names. I'm a piano producer. Like if I say Kane Victus, you know, he would be like uh but Kelvin Momo. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be sick. You and Kelvin. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Step and go-go? Not yet. But she plays three step now. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Mass music. No, no chance. Uh, no DJ Clear is here. Why is DJ Clear under I'm up here the producers? Mm. I don't know. Ask who who's who who put that list? <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> who? Uh, uh Master Kiji? No, no, no chance. No okay. chance. No, I think all these guys are gonna come, man. Yeah. Sooner sooner rather than later. Well, well, I believe in the power of collaboration at the same time, but only if it's managed right. Yeah. 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 Duke, Apart question. from paperwork, what would it be a reason for you to refuse uh, a remix proposal? If you're a bad person, man, mm. um, 
I believe in 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 I'm energy. an energy energy yeah. person, you yeah. know. So if your energy is oh, nah, yeah. it's okay, mm, it's mm, okay, because mm. I know it's gonna affect me in a very bad way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, it's just energy. You must just be just be kind. Yeah, just be nice it, to people. Yeah, you know, when you're nice, it. things nice things happen. Yeah, yeah. true, yeah. true. I love that, man. And compare, uh, um, uh, with agreements, see, like your contractual agreements, how hard is the conversation? Because you said obviously before you start the work, yeah, like you have to have that talk. Yeah. Is that conversation ever easy? It's not easy. It's not easy because um, it, it, we work different. I've noticed we work different here. Um, Umuntu, uh. They just want the song. Let's run. Yeah. Immediately you come with contracts. It's like, hey, 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 I want a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I go like And then, <laughs> to make it worse, you are sending an email. It's long. I have all the things up. Which is fucked up, bro. Yeah, because yeah, no, no, that's, that's like the first thing that yeah. you just need to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just solidifies a lot of things. Which is makes everything yes. sake. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And doing? then if it's a hit, then there is no issues. There's no issues. You know, you agreed to this. That 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 that. Uncle. Because mm. the conversation changes once the song becomes big. You know? Yes. Now it's different. Mm. Now the calls are mm. 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 Good piece, good piece, good piece. Now so, I like that. I like that, bro. Yeah. And that's the way we should move, bro. Yeah, I, I think to avoid a lot of things because he yeah. has depressed it, you know, as I'm a producer. Exactly. Sala so depressed, you know. And then it tracks say poppy le now so like a song nagi kumi legi mungchi ah yeah shoot the podcast podcast. Hey, hey. It's what happened with Tala That's ICU the the the, the 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 boys that yeah because the boys there's boys that did the beat and sent it to Tyler right and then Tyler did his magic you know yeah and then I, I'm sure they never thought it'd be as big as it is yeah. and now they're saying ah he stole our song you know yeah. because of there's no paperwork true and uh, their onus is on them. Yes. As well, you know, if to say nah paperwork since when are you not talking about the paperwork? <laughs> and then they try to do another meek. It's not the one. Sad. It's called Banige. How no man. Serious? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, fuck Nandi God. Nandi what what? Nandi haters. Nandi. Oh, that's foul, man. Nandi. Yes, I need paperwork, buffet. To like guys. Yeah. You see, there we go. Nandi Pa 808. They're the ones that did the original beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? They released Banige. And it's got the Nige sample. <laughs> it's not lending. Neo is a big fan of yours, man. You got a question now? Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, so you said that you you don't want to be boxed into Tristep, you know, and you want to explore as a producer. Uh, so are you looking at initiating and coming up with a new sound again? Um, for me, I feel like that will happen organically because I, I feel like I know whenever I, I have a, as I have a sense a, a certain feeling whenever something is just running out. Whenever you feel like okay, now I'm just doing one and the same thing. The first thing as a producer to not do is to lie to yourself. You know, you must not lie to yourself. If something is not working, it's not working. If now it has run its its course, it has run its course. Some, try something yeah. new. Mm -hmm. You know. So for now. Uh, it's just that thing of I'm just gonna keep on exploring. But if uh, with me exploring, if something new comes in, you know, Sarok. we move, we vibe with it. But that is not the whole intention to just um, uh, Mangan is doing it. How can I come up with something new? But I would really love to be a person that pushes the envelope as to coming with new sounds and just exploring because uh, that's where you have situations where you feel like hey, now the sound is dying because people are not in innovative enough mm. yeah, well, they think now this is a formula you put this you put this mm. as a formula mm. but the formula is a feeling it's not as music yeah, you know, it's yeah. not a, what you do in the computer it's a certain feeling so mm. if the song is honest it's gonna last but if it's not you already know ah oh, man I love that man Tugsin thank you so much man Salute. take your flowers man it's Tugsin season it's your time to shine man and God willing may it run forever man because yeah. your music is amazing man to create a whole new genre in the midst of piano dog do you understand how crazy that is it's do you understand nice, how yeah. big that is bro yeah. But you see, the beauty is because he didn't go out there to say, I want to make a lot of noise in the midst of piano. He just wanted to make music that connects to the people driven by the feeling. Because he keeps on referring back to that, the feeling the song gives you. And that's how. He wasn't chasing for that. But mm. that's how, you know. Because of remain pure in your intention of creating music. Don't so, chase hits, chase feelings. Yeah, chase... Uh, Good song, like a good that speaks to people, you know, mm. not necessarily that makes people lose their shit and get on, on, on roofs. You want that, but 
don't create it with that idea. Mm. You know? Yeah. Love it, man. In closing, Tugson, you busy with Major League? What else are you busy with? What can people expect? When are you dropping your project? Yeah. What's going on? Are you shooting a music video? Yeah. Um, yeah, music videos. Uh, there's, uh, we just dropped the, the Burning Bush one. Mm. Uh, nice. On the meta side. And um, probably we'll shoot for, for Mama Tula. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And yeah, there's more. There's the remix that is coming up, the Major League remixes uh, that are going to come out. And then, yeah, there's some... I don't like talking much about what's going to happen. Yeah. Because if I do that, there's too much pressure and then I don't deliver. It's like, ah. And then how's the roadkill by the Afrotech side there? What are you talking about? Oh, explain to him. <laughs> <laughs> He knows what he is. is a chiller. You're a born. He's came with a, he's a chiller, Tanksy. He knows very well what room kills, man. What room kills. Oh, the matrigas. Yeah, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Tanksy. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one? Is that one? Podcast and chill.